What's going on people and welcome back for episode number 6 of Restoring Style. I hope you're enjoying this series so far. If you are, make sure you're leaving a like on these videos. But anyway, on the agenda today, the small matter of a trip to the Allianz Arena to take on FC Bayern in the Champions League. I'll also be bringing you another league game as we take on CS MS Ayasi in the Romanian League. But before we get into that, obviously... As usual, I'll run you through the results since the last episode where you saw us play Red Bull Salzburg in the Champions League and Craiova in the league. But um, results have been good since then. Uh, we progressed in the Romanian Cup. We won our sixth round tie against Gloria Buzal. 2-0 home win. Very comfortable. Could have been any scoreline really. I think Buzal are in the second tier, if I remember correctly, of Romanian football. So, as expected, we progressed in that one. And then we beat Utulul. 7-2 uh, at home, an emphatic victory, it could have been any scoreline, it really was 7-2, but it could have been 9 or even 10 really, it was, we were so dominant in this game, you can see from the stats, and there were so many different scorers as well in this game, which was very pleasing, you can see uh, Tukadin, Rosescu, Lucin, Stanku, Nyagu and Kuzero all getting on the score sheet, a very, very pleasing performance, and we also beat Basel then, following that one, in the Champions League, 1-0, very, very even game, I mean, we dominated possession, but in terms of the shots, and the actual chances, it was a very tight game, uh, thankfully, we managed to stay strong, keep a clean sheet, and that George Tukadin goal was enough, and it's put us in a really good position in the Champions League, I'll show you our group now, actually, if I just scroll down to our group, so you can see it there, Bayern, top of the group, you would expect them to go through comfortably, um, they're head and shoulders above anyone in this group really uh, but ourselves are in second at the moment one win one draw on four points you can see this red bull salzburg in third with just one point and basel have lost their opening two games and have no points currently so we're doing really well at the moment of course we've got to face bayern twice now so uh the chances of us getting any points in those two games are unlikely but you never know but following that Basel game, really, really frustrating result against Gaz Metan. 3-3. Free, free. We were 3-1 up at one point. We scored three goals in the first half. We looked like we were cruising. And we've had a couple of these results so far. Where we've been comfortable in games and just uh, become complacent. Maybe some of the players think this league's too easy for us. But we need to maintain our focus because, you know, it's not going to be a walk in the park for us. They scored in the 92nd minute, which is really frustrating. And in all honesty, I could see it coming. I tried to go defensive. I tried so many different things to hold out on this victory. But, you know, again, we were just too complacent. But we did, you know, get back to, uh, you know, our normal level of performance in the next game against Botosani. 5-2 at home. Uh, Niagu Rezescu and George Tukadin with a hat trick. George Tukadin has been amazing. 16 goals in 22 games, 13 in 11 in the league, and 23 years old. We've got a future fee of 750k agreed for him. He's valued at 4 million. So um, I think I'm going to have to look to do a deal from him. We've got a little bit of money, so uh, but it would pretty much take our whole budget if we were to sign him permanently. But this is how the league table is currently shaping up. So we're in second at the moment, a point behind Dinamo Bucharest, who are unbeaten so far this season. Like I said, we really need to cut out these kind of um, sloppy draws that we've had some, a, a few of them this season. Complacency has been creeping into our game, and I, I'm trying to cut that out. Because this, there's no margin for error here in this league. And um, we're expected to win the league. There's huge pressure on me to do that. So I need to make sure the boys are focused on that goal of winning the league. It's very important for us this season. But anyway, this, this is a team I'm going to be putting out for the game against Bayern. Away from home. Of course, I'm not expecting to get anything. I've set up defensively. I've changed some of my team instructions. I usually have this on shorter passing. I usually have push higher up. Um, I've changed it to more direct, drop deeper. I've lowered the tempo instead of usually having on, having it on a higher. And I've also set them to be more disciplined. But we've got Alausis and goal. The usual back three, uh, Tamas, Pap and Radoy. Midfield, Inache, Brevald, Nyagu and Tanase. Stangu and Raul Zisku and also George Tukadi point would be an incredible result here buying um expecting them to be at full strength of course they they want to close out this group but um you never know you never know what can happen if we can stay strong if we can keep it tight maybe just maybe we can nick a point from this game but that's me being very very hopeful good tackle by Nyagu though on Lewandowski can we get it forward this is very strange I wasn't expecting us to be on the attack here took a Dean He's going to have to do it by himself. No, he doesn't. He plays it out wide to Anache. If he can get a good ball in, we've got a chance. And 
Um, well, I I don't know what to. We um, I'm I'm speechless here, guys. We have just taken the lead in the Allianz Arena. Uh, this was not in the script. I'm not sure what to do here now. Bayern have been dominant in the early stages of the game, but we've been uh, in that with the ball. Raul Ruzescu with the header, and I'm really not sure what to do here, guys. And do not tell me we're on the attack again. Inache. Oh, Robin's going to get it up here, though. Robin, of course, a very, very dangerous player. Can we close him down? We're stepping off of him at the moment. We're giving him the space to cross. Lewandowski in there. We deal with it. Good defending, but it's just going to come straight back at us. Philippe Lahm. Alonso. I still can't believe we're 1 0 up, but that could not last for long, and it doesn't. Iron Robin with an instant impact or uh, instant reply, I mean, for Bayern. Um, we've done brilliantly to get in the lead, but um, Bayern, the quality there, we just don't pick up Robin. Look how much space he's got in there. Alonso picks out the pass, and it's a good finish. And just moments after that Bayern goal, the uh, Nache's picked up an injury. The man who set up our goal for Raul Ruzescu, we're going to have to bring on Popper. That is a bit disappointing. Of course, he's a very, very um, creative player on that right wing. Very good crosser of the ball. We're going to miss him, but we'll bring on Popper. Still 1-0, of course. Just a few minutes after that Robin goal. Breveld goes for the long pass. Benasia will deal with that though. Javi Martinez, Xabi Alonso. What a team. What a brilliant team. Mario Goetze on the ball into Lewandowski. That partnership with Iron Robin up front. He's got the ball again. Iron Robin causing us a lot, a lot of problems. And that lead has not lasted for very long. That goal from us really kicked Bayern into gear, didn't it? Iron Robin just too good. Too, too good. We can't deal with him. Look how he just drifts past our centre back there. What a goal. Lovely finish there. And it's 2 1 by Tanase. We've got to be more careful with the ball. We're losing it too easily. And we're just allowing Bayern to come on the counter attack time and time again. And uh, if we keep doing that, like I said, it's going to turn into a bit of a rout as Javi Martinez is on the ball. He finds Alaba. That left uh, wing back role he's playing in today. He's going to whip in the ball. Lewandowski's in there. Lewandowski makes it 3 1. And after a brilliant start, we've uh, completely fallen apart. Mm, not sure what to do here. Of course, we're already on defensive. Do I come out a little bit more? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. That was a good ball in, though, from Alaba. We're just not picking up Lewandowski and Robin at the moment. And they're creating a lot of havoc. But can we get a goal before half time? It's a free kick from Stanku. Oh, saved by Neuer. It comes out to Radoy. And he only manages to hit the woodwork. So unlucky there. And just moments later, the whistle goes for half time. We made a brilliant start to the game. We left. We was. I was left speechless after scoring that goal, taking the lead in the Allianz Arena for Raul Zescu. But um, following that goal, Bayern, Bayern were fired up. Robin scoring twice. Lewandowski scoring one. And um, we've got to be careful that uh, Bayern do not go wild on us now. This could end up being five, six, one if we're not careful. I'm going to leave things as they are. Uh, for now, we're going to get back into the game for the second half. Could we be on the attack? Raul Zesco hasn't got much options. He has to be patient on the ball. To George Tukadi, if he plays it out left, he's got a good uh, option there. He does. Tenace doesn't manage to find the ball. And Bayern will come on the counter-attack once again. Oh, but it's a poor pass. And they're exposed at the moment. Can we take advantage? Popper. Oh, he should have passed it across. Been a bit selfish there. All right, 75th minute on the clock. Time for a, ch a change or two in the match. Going to bring off Tanase. We'll bring on Iasmin on the left. And uh, we'll give the young 17-year-old Robert Vilcheno a game in the, the Allianz Arena. We'll take him off for Nikos or Stanky. He hasn't had much influence on the game, of course. Very difficult for him to get in the ball with the kind of players that Bayern have got. But we'll make those two changes right now. And approaching the final 10 minutes. Out of nowhere, we've just given away a penalty. Braveld fouling Jabby Alonso in the box. A uh, silly foul, really. It wasn't going anywhere. It was There was no need to make it. And Iron Robin is going to step up before his hat trick. Can we deny him? Very unlikely. But here he comes. He's taken an age to actually put the ball down. Here he comes. Iron Robin for his hat trick. Comfortable as you like in the top corner. Sends the keeper the wrong way. And foot makes it 4-1 to Bayern. And there is the full-time whistle in the Allianz Arena. In all honesty, I can't be disappointed with that. We gave a good account of ourselves, especially in that first half where we actually took the lead in the game. But, you know, the likes of Iron Robin, Lewandowski and Jabby Alonso, who was absolutely, absolutely superb 
in this game were just too much for us. 4-1 win. Uh, Red Bull Salzburg beat Basel in the other game. So Basel really struggling in this group. That means Salzburg are now level uh, with us on four points. So um, our goal difference is worse. So it must be, you know, count as a head-to-head record. I'm not too sure about that. But anyway, we've got another game coming up in this episode, of course. We've got, e- who is it again? Iassi in the league coming up in a few days' time. So then I've had to make one change from the game against Bayern. Nicandro Breveld, who picked up a knock in that one, is out for one to three days with a bruised rib. So Alex Andrew Borchenu comes in in his place. Hasn't You haven't seen much of him, of course. He started off the season out with a bit of a long-term injury. Was, I think he was out for three to four months of the opening uh, stages of the season. But he's back now. Very experienced player. 29 caps for Romania. So glad to have him in the team. But apart from that, no changes from the team. Just changed up the mentality and team instructions of course we're playing a uh, side in the league that are not nowhere near as strong as us really so we're going attacking we want to be taking the game to them also change the team instruction back to shorter passing back to playing with a higher tempo and back to having that defensive line much higher so we've been dominant in this game so far but yet to create any clear-cut chances can we do that now here in Nache into Raul Ruzesco gets header in it's a good save but it falls only as far as Tukadin I mentioned him at the start of the episode that's his 17th goal of the season he's a real poacher a fantastic striker to have in the team especially in the league he's deadly in this league and we'll see it again in 3D ball in from Nache good header from Raul Ruzesco uh, keeper palms it out and Tukadin is there to mop up and uh, get the goal 1-0. Right then, half-time, 1-0. They haven't had a single shot in the first half. We've been completely dominant, as we are in most league games, if I'm being honest. But uh, we'll tell the players that have done well so far. I'll also say that they can improve a little bit because we want to make this a little more comfortable in the second half. So 62 minutes on the clock, going to make a change. Uh, Stanku's picked up a bit of a knock. I'm going to take him off for Vilkienu. I'm also going to bring off Tanase, the captain. Uh, not doing too well in terms of his fitness and he's having a pretty poor game. So I'll bring on Iasmin off the bench. Two substitutions, still 1-0, just under half an hour to go. And straight after that substitutions, can they make an instant impact? We're on the attack. Vilkeno, one of the substitutes into Niagu. Back to Vilkeno. Oh, the Fabio Braga has gone in hard on Vilkeno there. He's going to get a second yellow card. That will see him be sent off. Off the pitch you go. And they are now down to 10 men. We should wrap this up very, very soon, hopefully. So it hasn't been the most exciting of games so far. They haven't had a single shot. If they score here now, I'll actually be livid. Damien... Oh, they do not do this to me. Kolobovic, oh, he's got a free header. You've got to be kidding me. You actually have to be kidding me. Their first meaningful attack of the game, and this is the complacency I've been talking about. We've been, look at the stats, just look at the stats. I don't need to say anything. And somehow it's one all. I really don't understand. That's a good header to be fair, but we've just been, that's just poor, poor. And hopefully that goal has given us a kick up the backside as we bring it forward moments later. Raru Zescu, good clearance, bring it back forward. Niagu, come on, Vilkenu. Raru Zescu has got to score. He does score, thankfully, with uh, giving an instant reply to that goal, that equalising goal. Raru Zescu, very, very good striker, of course, on loan from Sevilla this season. We'll see it again in 3D. And uh, we've been so dominant. If we didn't win this game or if we don't go on to win this game, I'll be fuming. But that's a lovely finish into the bottom corner there. And the full-time whistle goes. We win the game 2-1. We had a bit of a scare, of course, with that equalising goal. But uh, in the end, our you know our quality showed in the match and we managed to pick up the three points. Look at that. Them stats uh, completely dominant in the game. If we had managed to throw that away with them going down to 10 men... Honestly, this computer will probably be going out the window. But anyway, we've won it, so uh, thankfully that will not be the case. So we've taken uh, place our place at the top of the table following that win. Two points ahead of the Dinamo at Bucharest, but they have another game to play. So if we look at the fixtures that we've got coming up, we've got the Romanian Cup next against Gaz Metan. The league against Vitoral. We've also got Bayern Karnat soon. I'm not sure when I'm going to come back. We've got Dinamo Bucharest coming up soon. I really want to show that game. Massive derby in Romania. So that's going to be an important game. So I'll probably show you that. Um, but I'm, I'm not sure I'm going to kind of format it. Anyway, we'll see. Anyway, thank you for watching once again. If you did enjoy this episode, be sure to leave it a like. Like? Like? And if you're not subscribed to the channel just yet, please do subscribe. But for now, it's been Halfback FM, and I'll see you guys 